All right, so I just wanted to show you the storage solution that I came up with. Um, I was riding around with just a backpack with a bungee on the back. It was kind of a temporary deal. Um, but I saw somebody else do this on, online and I thought it was a really good idea. So I was mulling over the idea of buying one of those CF Moto rear trunks, the big ones. Um, but I didn't really think I needed it because I, I don't really carry that much stuff when I go out anyways. Um, and it was like $250 before any kind of shipping. So it's kind of expensive. And it was kind of big and bulky and I didn't really like the look of it. So I figured I'd go with this. Um, now this is the Husky build out. And as you can see, it's actually one of these stackable storage bins that a lot of people use for like construction. Um, so this setup right here with the three bins cost me 150 bucks at Home Depot. Um, so it's a lot more affordable. And I, to me, it was a lot more versatile because basically, you know, if I use this and decide I don't like it, or if I sell this four wheeler or whatever, I can still use this bin with this system. Um, so I thought that was better than buying the big old trunk and then, you know, never really using it or using it only for that purpose. So I'll give you a look inside of it here. Just to give you an idea kind of the size. Now this is typical to kind of what I usually pack around. I've got a jacket there, my binoculars, waters, um, a couple of camera stuff. Usually when I go out riding though, this is what I've got. So this size kind of works perfect for, uh, for my needs. And it also has this uh, rubber gasket that goes around. So I'm hoping that'll keep the elements out as much as possible. But it's got a good solid latch to it. Um, it doesn't, you know, it's strong. I don't think the strength of the, the box is a problem at all. Um, we'll see if my mounting system holds up. I need to go out and test it. So I mounted it with two bolts in the middle, obviously on the bottom. Um, I'll give you a look here in the front. Now the racks on this CF Moto are identical front to rear. So these are the mounting points I used. I kind of jimmy rigged <laughs> a mounting system. Um, but I'm kind of regretting putting just the two center. I, you know, I should have done maybe some sort of like triangular pattern because I think it would have held on a little bit better. Um, it's like it's on there, but if I really start to pull on it and twist it, it does move a little bit. Um, but I think that's mainly just the plastic uh, twisting and turning a little because the plastic really isn't that thick. I think I drilled through it and it's only like 3 16 inch thick. So it's really not a super thick plastic. And so I think when I get that twisting it's just the plastic itself kind of moving so i also use this as a storage as well this is kind of where i put all my stuff that i don't really use very often like i got some first aid stuff in there and a ziploc um, i got a fire starter kit and a toe strap back there um, but this uh storage thing itself is pretty big like i can fit probably you know, four or five water bottles in there honestly if i wanted to so the other cool thing about this system is that it's stackable, right? So I can take this bigger bin if I wanted to, let's say I'm going fly fishing and I want to put my waders in here and my fishing gear. So I can clip that on there. You know, it's not super sturdy. It's got a little bit of a wiggle room in it. Um, but I think it would be just fine um, if you're not really doing you know, a super hard trail. Um, and if you wanted to, you can kind of use this rail system it's got on the side and you could even take two, you know, two or three bungees or four bungees or whatever and bungee it down, um, to make sure it stays in place, but it's already in there pretty good. But that's why I like this stacking system is, uh, like I said, it's more versatile. Um, and if I wanted to, since the racks are identical on the CF Moto, um, I could take this bin and put it on the front if I wanted to. Um, and then I'd have to just rig this one up to go on the back. So then you could have it on the front and the back if you wanted to do it that way as well. Um, and heck, you could even put another one on top of here if you wanted to. Or they sell one that's a smaller bin if you wanted to put like just fishing gear or something like that. So I think there's a lot of versatility to it. And it just uh, pops off just like that. 
So yeah, I just need to get it out, um, test it, make sure it's gonna stay on. Um, I think it'll do all right. I may have to um, rework my mounting system, but I don't know, we'll have to see. Uh, so yeah, guys, I'd recommend this Husky box. Um, if you're looking for something similar to this, um, there's a bunch of different brands of these boxes. Um, I went with the Husky basically solely on the purpose that it was red. <laughs> um, so it was kind of between this and the Craftsman and I thought this one was better. Um, so yeah, just let me know what you think. Leave me a comment. Um, let me know if you have any questions. Um, I just thought I'd make a video and let you know my storage solution I'm going to be running from now on. So I guess my next video will be me trying to test it out. So if you like this kind of stuff, uh, think about subscribing to the channel. I do CF Moto stuff, outdoors, um, ATV, side-by-side, -side, stuff like that. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Have a good one.